to Making Musicians at Home. Today, we're going to do a short class for young children. I'm Miss Heather, and I am so excited that you are going to join us today for class. Let me show you a few things that you might want to grab from home to participate in this class. First, I have something that can be used as a drum. So we have this tub here. You could use anything, a Tupperware, um, you could use a pot, anything that you can hit. We also want to grab something that could be used as rhythm sticks. So I have two kitchen spoons that you could easily use. One last thing to grab is a scarf. You could use a bandana, just something that you can move with. And the bigger, the better on that. Lastly, we have some fun free downloads for you. So go ahead and make sure that you have those ready to go um, before you start the class today. Everybody say hello, say hello, say hello. Everybody say hello, just like me. Everybody run in place, run in place, run in place. Everybody run in place, just like me. Everybody swim, swim, swim. Everybody swim, just like me. Everybody stand on one foot, stand on one foot, stand on one foot, switch. Everybody stand on one foot, just like me. Everybody tap the floor, tap the floor, tap the floor. Everybody tap the floor, just like me. Now that our bodies are warmed up, let's warm up our fingers. Can you stretch your fingers out and shut them and stretch them again and shut them? And can you make your fingers walk? Ooh, let's try the other hand. It's kind of tricky. Can you make your fingers do push-ups? Ooh, let's try our pinky. That's a lot harder. <laughs> let's hold our fingers out like this. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten little fingers on my hands. Let's sing that one more time, but this time we're going to point to the numbers on our finger chart and count them again. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. Have you ever been to the farm? What animals do you think might live on a farm? Well, I love my little rooster, and my rooster loves me. I'm gonna cherish my rooster neath the green may tree. My little rooster goes cock and doodle do, doodle do, doodle do. Well, I love my little piggy, and my piggy loves me. I'm gonna cherish my piggy neath the green may tree. My little piggy goes, <coughs> my little rooster goes cock and doodle do. Well, I love my little snake, and my snake loves me. I'm gonna cherish my snake beneath the green may tree. My little snake goes, tss, tss. my little piggy goes, <coughs> my little rooster goes, cock a doodle do, doodle do, doodle do. Well, I love my little horse, and my horse loves me. I'm gonna cherish my horse beneath the green may tree. My little horse goes, <coughs> My little snake goes, tss, tss. my little piggy goes, <coughs> my little rooster goes, cock a doodle do, doodle do, doodle do. I love all the animals on the farm. Which one was your favorite? All right, stand up and follow me. Watch my feet and match the beat. My feet, your feet, my feet, your feet. Feet. Now let's try it faster. My feet, your feet, my feet, your feet. I have a friend that I am so excited for you to meet. His name is Lucky Duck. Come on in, Lucky. We're gonna play a game with Lucky today. It's called Copycat. Copycat, copycat, name of the game. Whatever Lucky says, you do the same. Quack, 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 
quack, quack, quack, quack, copycat, copycat, name of the game. Whatever Lucky says, you do the same. Quacky, quacky, quack, quack, quacky, quacky, quack, quack, copycat, copycat, name of the game. Whatever Lucky says, you do the same. Quack, quacky, quacky, quack, quack, quacky, quacky, quack, copycat, copycat, name of the game. Whatever Lucky says, you do the same. Quack, quack, moo. Quack, quack, moo. Lucky, ducks don't moo. Oh, that's okay, Lucky. Thank you for playing our game with us today. Can everyone wave goodbye to Lucky? Bye, Lucky. Can you stretch your fingers out one more time for me and then close them again? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little finger on the right. Can you do that one more time with me? And did you know that this is the sign language for fish? So make sure that you make your fish go and then catch him like that. Ready? Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little finger on the right. That was really fun. Let's learn the major scale next. And I'm gonna need my tone bells for this, so I'm gonna grab those. And I can play my bells from low to high and high to low. And when we sing the major scale, we sing C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And we can even sing the solfege for the major scale. It goes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. If you look at my board, you can see how those move up in the major scale. Let's sing the major scale and try our hand signs this time. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. It is time to name that instrument. All right, I need you to turn those ears on and listen very carefully so you can see if you know what instrument is playing. Ooh, I think I have a guess, but let's listen one more time and see if we know what instrument it is for sure. I think I know what instrument that is. That is the harmonica. And I have a very special guest today. His name is Mr. Jess, and he's Hello. gonna tell us a little bit about the harmonica. Yeah, so you can see the harmonica is super tiny. It's just about the size of the palm of my hand. Um, and you can see the little holes right here. That's what I'm blowing into. This instrument is part of the woodwind family because the sound is created from the wind that we blow into it. It has little reeds in here made of wood that shake really, really fast when I blow into it. And that's what makes the sound. I love that. Hey, um, could you play a song for us on the harmonica? Yeah, yeah, let me try something. What's that? 
that she'll be coming around the mountain. It was. Yep. I love that song. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. No problem. Absolutely. Can everyone wave goodbye to Mr. Jess? Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for coming today. No problem. We'll see ya. It's time for a story. Story time, story time, come and take a look. Story time, story time, what's inside this book? Our book today is The Lady with the Alligator Purse. That's the title of the book. The author of the book, the person who wrote the book is Mary Ann Hoberman and Nadine Bernard Westcott. We open the book. Oh, we see some music and the title page. Miss Lucy had a baby. His name was Tiny Tim. He looks like he might get into trouble sometimes. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Ooh, does that sound like a good idea, eating soap? He tried to eat the bathtub, but it wouldn't go down his throat. Miss Lucy called the doctor. Miss Lucy called the nurse. Miss Lucy called the lady with the alligator purse. In came the doctor. In came the nurse. In came the lady with the alligator purse. Mumps said the doctor. Measles said the nurse. Nonsense, said the lady with the alligator purse. Penicillin, said the doctor. Castor oil, said the nurse. Pizza, said the lady with the alligator purse. It looks like it's time for a pizza party. Can everyone eat their pizza? What's your favorite kind of pizza? I like pineapple with Canadian bacon. That's my favorite. Looks like the dog's eating pepperoni. Out went the doctor, out went the nurse, out went the lady with the alligator purse. That is such a fun story. And guess what? I have something special for you. You can make your very own little alligator purse at home. Just download our purse and you can attach the sides and make one for yourself. So you'll have to decide what you want to keep inside of it. All right, go ahead and grab your drum for our next song. And this is about a rainstorm. Did you know that you can make a rainstorm on a drum? You start by tapping it very gently with your fingers, and that sounds like rain. And as the rain gets louder, it sounds like it's coming down harder and harder. You can even put in a thunder and another one. I love to see the rainbows. What do you like to do in the rain? Do you like to stop in the puddles? Let's sing a song that is all about rain. We're gonna start. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed, and he couldn't get up in the morning. Oh, it's getting harder. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. sound of rain. It makes me want to go inside and curl up with a really good book. All right, for our next song, we are going to need those rhythm sticks. So get out whatever you are using as sticks. And we're going to stand up for the mulberry bush song. 
makes me feel. Everybody say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Everybody say goodbye. We'll see you next week. Thank you for coming today. I hope you had fun. I sure did. We'll see you next time. Say bye -bye. Bye -bye.